Well, the first thing is just a is just a plastic head cutting cover. This helps keep some of the hair off of your clothes and uh, used for many years a uh, clothespin to hold it together. I have hair clipper and this is a quarter inch guide and it, it really depends on your hairstyle but I generally use quarter inch for sideburns hair here and half inch guide for these sides and uh, get started here. That's pretty much it for those sides. And now I'm going to switch to the half inch guide. And these, this tends to get all full of hair. And with this clipper too, it's kind of finicky. Usually have to clean it, clean off the blades here, and oil it with hair clipper oil. Uh, otherwise it doesn't like to cut well. So a little bit of maintenance with this one. And I found too when doing this, my dad likes to do is go out like that and it seems like it leaves kind of a divot there. So I just have to remind him to go up and then raise the cord in and it seems to give a smoother transition there. So I'm going to keep on trimming here, trim that up the other side and I'll show you how I do it back. Now for the tricky part, cutting the back, I'm going to use a handheld meter and hold it in front of me so then I can see the mirror behind me.
that I've found too, well, I have really fine hair, but I've found too, it's easier to keep your hair shorter. When it gets longer like this, it doesn't really like to cut very well. It might be my thin or fine hair too, and thinning hair. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to work on that a little bit more, see if I can get some of this out. I like to leave this a little bit longer back up here because um, if it gets real short, it just spikes up. So I'm going to work on that a bit more. And uh, yeah, it's, it's looking all right. I mean, it looks better than it did. So. I haven't used this clipper in quite a while, and it was, I don't know if you noticed, it was making a lot of racket, just a clattering noise on the red directions, which helpful. But there's an adjustment screw right here. And it, it actually adjusts the power to the motor. And um, you turn this until it starts clacking or turn it until it stops clacking. And that's the perfect power setting. So I've, uh, I'm going to take the guard off. And the back is looking pretty decent. Well, like I said, I wanted to leave this a little bit longer. I'm going to try and trim up this bottom. That's going to be really hard to do. All right, let's give it a shot. Tough working in a mirror because everything is backwards. And uh, take some trial and error. I'm gonna work on that a bit more. I wanted to show you this front. I'm gonna put the half inch guy back on and uh, in the sides I'm going to bring this up a little bit higher lifting up the cord end instead of going like this which seems to produce a divot in your hair looking pretty good on the top here yeah I know it's getting thin <laughs> that's the way it is um, tend to leave this a little bit longer but what I'll do take the scissors gather up some hair and trim off the longer pieces I'll actually do this even after dad's cut it um, I usually have him just leave the top alone because then if he messes it up it's his fault but if I do it's my fault so uh, some of the stuff's getting 
pretty long, so let's trim that up. And there's even times I'll just I'll trim this up a week or two after I get a haircut if it's if it's just too long. You don't want it, you want to just move around and take off. Not a lot of time. Half, maybe quarter of an inch. And then uh, you trim it. Just make sure the video doesn't run out of memory in the video card. Take a comb and comb that out. I'm getting really thin there, but it is what it is. But uh, not too shabby. I'm going to work on the back a little bit more. And here's what the back looked like. Turned out like uh, not too bad. I mean, it's it's really hard working in mirrors and behind your head and things. So um, I'm happy with the results. But it's just, you know, really just don't go crazy cutting off a lot of hair at a time because uh, you can't put it back on. So, um, and you may end up shaving your head, which isn't all bad. And like a friend of mine says, the only difference between a good haircut and a bad one is two weeks. So there you go. So, and there it is. Uh, not too shabby. Actually, this is the first time I ever cut my hair myself. Um, other than trimming, I do trim around my ears and stuff, usually weekly. But um, I wanted to see how it go, went before I uh, I told you that was the first time I've done it. But uh, no, it, um, it doesn't look bad. It was It's better than it was. Um, like I say, I can I'll probably see how this top is for the next few days, and I may trim it up a little bit more. But it feels a lot better and it's a lot cooler. But, uh, other thing I've discovered, I've done for you too, if I get my hair cut during the day, I'll just go downstairs in the laundry tub and just, well, first I, I'll run a vacuum cleaner through it with the, the vent or the release so it's not sucking as much and try to get as much hair as I, out as I can and I'll put my head in, like in the bathtub over the edge and uh, just run my hands through the air, hair, try and get as much hair out as I can. But sometimes I'll go down the laundry tub and just put my head underneath the faucet and just rinse over my head real quick, you know, just like 30 seconds. Dry it, comb it, and that cuts down on most of the hair getting on your neck and things and itching the rest of the day, which drives me nuts. Um, or we'll take a shower and, and wash it and it's really good. But uh, be sure and check out my other videos. Please subscribe, like, share, leave a comment below. Have a great day.